Mountains had wing and they flew in Hinduism. Mountains had wing and they flew according to Hindu scripture. Valmiki Ramayana 5.1.123-50 Sun. Earlier in the Krita Yuga, mountains had wings. With speed equal to that of Garuda and Vayu, they went in all directions. After that when those mountains were thus flying freely, devas and living creatures together with sages obtained fear in the doubt that those mountains might fall down. Then the angry Devendra who performed a hundred Asvamedha rituals, cut off the wings of thousands of mountains by his weapon Vajra then and there. Suramad Bhagavatam August 11, 34, Indra thought, formerly, when many mountains flying in the sky with wings would fall to the ground and kill people, I cut their wings with this same thunderbolt. Matsya Purana 125.10-17, the clouds Puskarabharteka have been born from the wings, of the mountains. These wings are named Puskara and hold a huge volume of water hence these clouds are known as Puskaravarta. The valiant Indra cut down the wings of the mountains that used to fly at their will and cause ruin and destruction to the rising generation, of the universe. Linga Purana I.54.46-48, the origin of the third type of clouds is from the wings of mountains chopped off by Indra. Brahmanda Purana I.2.22.41, the wings of very powerful mountains that had increased in size and who used to go wherever as they pleased, were chopped off by Indra who wished to secure the welfare of all living beings. Hadivamsa Purana 3.40.19, knowing that the mountains are responsible for lack of firmness, immobility, of earth, the destroyer of strongholds, Indra, the Lord, after installing the mountains at their own places, cut off their wings with his weapon, the hundred-jointed, edged Shittaparva, Vajra. Vayu Purana I.51.38 The wings of the powerful mountains who could go as per their will and pleasure, had grown very large. Indra cut them off for the, welfare of all, living beings. H. H. Wilson writes in the footnotes of the verse Rig Veda 2.12.2. Ya Parvatan Prakupatan Aram Nat, the scholiast says he quieted the mountains, going hither and thither, as long as they had wings, Indra cut them off. Swami Prabhupada also wrote. In many descriptions in Vedic literature it is found that mountains also fly in the sky with wings. When such mountains are dead, they fall to the ground, where they stay as very large dead bodies. Swami Prabhupada on Suramad Bhagavatam August 11, 12.